Five Cambridge Union takes break. D uh, gross. <laughs> that Not, was never break. again. <laughs> Good morning everybody, happy week two of uh, Cambridge Easter term. Um, this morning I've done a little bit of reading, I found a really interesting article on looking at meaning as uh, spatial like vector relations um, between co-occurring words, which is really interesting. Um, and they use like computer programs, I felt very STEM. Um, I did some reading on other semantic stuff, but the paper, all the paper I read wasn't very useful, I don't think I could use it, so. Ah well, um, that's another one ticked off the list. Now I'm heading back to John's, I'll grab some uh, folders and stuff and head to the library and get some work done. I think I'm gonna try and do some practice questions today um, for psycholinguistics. Do like a full data paper um, in two hour time conditions. Let's see how that goes. In all honesty, I've done very little today. Um, I've done a little bit of reading here and there on psycholinguistics, um, but I'm just not feeling it today. But I have to get stuff done because it's exam season very soon. Um, but th all that aside, um, today is voting day. It is the local election. So I'm currently on my way. I don't know where I'm going, but Google Maps is my best friend. I'm gonna go find the place and I'm gonna vote. It's very important to vote. I feel very passionately about this. As you guys can probably tell, I'm a very political person. Um, so please do vote. I mean, it's gonna be late because this vlog is gonna be out in like weeks, but like, vote. <laughs> So it is time. I have taken a break for a couple days, but I have to return to that horrible, awful, terrible morphology question I spent literally four days trying to wrap my head around. I don't want to do it, but it's due in like at the end of the week. And I've given up trying to do it in time conditions because I've tried other morphology questions and none of them have been this hard and I've done them all in time conditions. But this one is just hell. So I'm, I just need to finish it. I just need to get it done. I am going to take my laptop and I'm going to throw it out of that window behind me. I don't want to do this question anymore. I've just spent another hour and a half on this question and I thought I'd finally got an answer and I wrote it down and I moved on to my next question and the next question made me realise that I've got the answer wrong to the previous question. I'm supposed to be able to do this question in an hour in the exam. I've been working for at least a summative amount of like eight hours on this question and I still can't get the answer. I was a little bit dramatic before. I actually haven't got it wrong. <laughs> I just misread my own answer. I actually do think I've got it right. So I'll retract that. I'll be keeping my laptop. It is done. I have handed it in. I am never looking at that morphology question ever again until Mary Vision Supervision next week where we have to go through it. But hopefully that's going to shed some light and everyone will have struggled and it wasn't just me. Fingers crossed. So I just completed, in time conditions, a semantics data question and I'm very proud of myself um, because I did it and it's laid. I knew what I was talking about, I had a bunch of points, I had a bunch of references. I mean, you don't have to like specifically reference stuff um, because it is a closed book exam, but like, you have to point out like theories and like key thinkers and stuff. And I did, and I think like my answer like slapped. Good morning, everybody. Okay, it's not the morning, it's like half 12. Um, but I'm currently on my way to my semantics supervision, um, which is up in Homerton again, which I'm really grateful for. Thank you to my supervisor for making me walk all that way. Getting my steps in. <sighs> anyway, um, I'm excited because I love semantics. Um, so let's get going. Super was completed and I am back in John's. Literally just walked through the gate. <laughs> um, it was a good super. Um, we went over some past paper questions. I understood them all. Um, I think I need to go over pragmatics a bit more because I really thought I had it in the bag and was like, pragmatics is easy. It is easy, easier, but there's a lot of content. So I need to go over it to remember all the little nuanced details. Um, but I'm now gonna head to the backs, do a revision there, because it's sunny today and I'm loving it. My little library session is over. There's the library right behind me. Um, I managed to finish an essay plan for semantics. I actually think it's a really slaveful essay. Um, it's not one I've been set, but I'm like trying to get some essay plans done. So I've got the experience of more semantics essays. Um, I have no references. Well, actually no, I've just read an article in here um, that gave me some really good references, but um, I have none for the whole essay. Which is good because it means I've got like ideas and thoughts, but not good because 
you can't write an essay without references. <laughs> but now I'm gonna head back to my flat and eat my chili. And I'm actually very excited because like I'm in my chef era. Here she is, my chili. The chili was an absolutely resounding success. I'm very proud of myself there, but I have loads left over. I made way too much. Um, so I'm gonna have that for lunch tomorrow. But I'm not just gonna wash up because cooking leaves you with so many pots to do, so many utensils. And that's just, that's just more than I want to deal with. Um, but I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to attempt a past paper. I'm gonna try and do a socio-psycho socio and language acquisition paper. Um, it's two hours long. Let's set a timer, just do it, and just see how much I can get done in the time limit. We'll see. So I have not done the past paper, but I did just do some reading, um, and I learned about presuppositions and implicatures. Uh, I already know a lot about implicatures, but um, I wanted to learn about how you would demarcate implicatures from everything else. So I learned a bunch of tests. You could not tell me I'm not a woman in STEM if I have to memorise a bunch of tests. Um, but I have nothing on tomorrow because it's a Saturday, so I'm going to do the paper tomorrow. Um, it's only two hours, so slay. Good night. Good morning, everybody. This morning, I'm starting off the day doing some flashcards. Um, I really need to learn my old English demonstratives. Um, do and don and etc, etc. Um, so I'm going to go through the flashcards, hopefully learn all of these. He's arrived! Woo! <laughs> Me and Megan are having a, a little pamper day, but not for us, for Barbara. For I've Barbara. just I've just brushed her hair for like half an hour. Now Megan's plaiting it. Slay! Um, we're on Christ pieces. Um, we're just sitting here, hanging out, people watching. I don't really know where I was going with this. <laughs> I'm back in my flat after our little picnic break, and it is time to do a lot of admin. Um, because I have four take-home essays to do, and I won't really have the time to do any new reading during that period, I'm going to try and organise all of the reading I have done really, really well. Um, so I have one master doc on my laptop that lists every uh, reference I've ever used or every reference I've ever read and a bunch of keywords um, to do with that. So when I come across my essays, I can search into that master doc, all the keywords, and I can come up with the reference. And then I'm going to put a code next to that and a code on the piece of paper that's in my folders up there that has all the notes I've made from that reference. Basically, I'm becoming like a, my own little mini reference library. Um, so when it gets to it, I don't have to go searching through for references. I can cut down that time by just going to the code and finding the notes and using that, hopefully. It's going to take me a while tonight, I think, to do it all. But fingers crossed, this will actually help me during that period because it's going to be a stressful week. So it is like almost 1am, um, but I've done all the references for my first two modules. Here's my master doc. It goes on for a while, <laughs> um, but I've put all my notes in order, added little codes. I'm quite proud of it, actually. It's like a fully organized system. Um, and even though it has been very time consuming, I think it's been very useful because not only will it be like really useful when it comes to writing the essays, but also I've picked up like where the holes are in my notes and realized like I don't have many references for phonetics and I have loads of references for morphology. Um, so it means I can like start balancing that up um, ready for the exam, which has been good. But I'm going to go to bed because the other two modules I get done tomorrow, there is, I've done way more reading than I thought I had. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another sunny, glorious day in Cambridge. I am loving the weather at the minute. Um, I am dressed in all black. Not very suiting, but I'm on my way this morning to get photos done for the netball team. Very exciting. feel like an official sports player. Um, and we have to wear all black, so rip. I'll take it. Photos are done and it is library time. Um, I'm gonna head to the John's library and hopefully get another past paper done. Um, I wanna do a history and varieties of English one um, just to keep keep the history skills and the varieties knowledge ticking over. Um, Cause Lord knows I hate it and I won't be looking again at the notes. So I might as well do something active. That'll get me to use what I vaguely learnt sort of. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> the linguists have convened in Sydney Gardens. Everybody say hi. It's cool. Hello. Um, we're attempting. Are we even Thank attempting? We're, we're not. not. We no. were supposed to be working. Now Deer is hypothesizing who got pulled in and who didn't. I'm trying to figure out who's on the call. <laughs> it's we've, been a year. we've gone through the entire we've gone through the old student room chat to look at who got in and who didn't. We've looked at the statistics and Deer's oh, made a spreadsheet made a chart. <laughs> people in a cause we should know <laughs> <laughs> it's true this is what you get for you on a small cause 
<laughs> yeah, what do you have to contribute? We also put most people on the course into a Hunger Games simulator to see who's going to top try for us. Sylvia! Sylvia. It's, yeah, shout yeah. out to Sylvia. <laughs> but anyway, it's been a very productive afternoon. <laughs> So it's about 7 p.m. and I've done absolutely nothing since my past paper this morning. But you know what? It's fine. Exam term is a very stressful time, but I vowed to myself I was going to study less <laughs> this term because I want to appreciate being around the people I love. Um, oh, gross, cringe, uh, chuggy. Um, anyway, so I'm now off to see Jake. Um, I did about five whole minutes of reading today, but you know what? So what? So what? So what? Nothing means anything. If I get first, I'm still going up in the ground. Oh, that was morbid. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Today is looking absolutely slayful. It is 9.30 and I'm off to the library. Um, I only have one lecture today and it's my last lecture of the year, which is terrifying. I don't know how I've already done a year. Um, but I'm gonna go to the library, get some reading done, um, return these books um, and get some working on language acquisition. Cause I feel like I really need to go over that. Um, I might do an essay plan or something. I don't know, but that's where we're going. Megan, 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 Megan. We finished lectures! Woo! We just did um, our varieties of English. Um, we just did our varieties of English revision lecture. Um, Megan, thoughts on the lecture? It's good, it's useful, I think. No crime. I'm glad someone found it useful. No, actually, no, it was good, it was good, it was good. It just stressed me out because I don't know anything about language contact. Oh, but it's fine, it's fine. Now, now we know that we need to know that. Uh-huh. I know nothing. <laughs> it's fine, we finished lectures, guys. So we're having a cheeky little celebration. Um, I've obtained a milkshake. Slay. And Andrew, there she is, serving, yeah, serving slay recycling. recycling. Um, so we've just been to a little cafe to do some work. Um, <laughs> was it, was it okay? No, we used to be very hard for quite a while, but like, I did some reading. Guys, Cambridge student takes break. D uh, gross. <laughs> no, was never like, again. Cambridge student takes break. <laughs> <laughs> Just the one. Just one. Never again. No. So after Ben and Andrew's little study day, I'm whispering because I'm still in the library. We went to the library. Um, and I just got a bunch of reading done on um, first language acquisition. Um, and I am loving like language acquisition. I'm loving reading again. Um, I don't have much time to do the reading <laughs> during term time usually, but because there's no like deadlines this term and we're just like doing revision, I'm getting the time to sit and read all the articles and it's so much fun. I love my degree. <laughs> I really do. And it just makes me happy to be able to like engage with it. And I'm quite excited for second year now because I know I'm going to operate very differently um, and be actually give myself time to do the readings and remember that like I enjoy this and I should be enjoying it. Um, so that's quite fun. Um, I just did some really interesting reading and it was very fun. I'm not gonna head back to my slot because it's dinner time. It's like 9 p.m. but still, this is when I'm eating. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am late to a supervision, <laughs> but I am running. I'm not running, I'm walking. I'll get there eventually. Um, I have my supervision on morphology, on that horrible morphophonology question that I spent literally like eight days doing. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. I'm wearing shorts. I actually kind of like this outfit, but shorts is an interesting choice because it's not as sunny as it was the past couple days, but oh well, we're living, we're learning. So I just tried out the economics library. How exciting. Um, insert clip here. I um, definitely felt like an imposter in there. Um, I was definitely the only, um, <laughs> I think I was the only linguistic student in there. But um, I need to get some books, so I'm off to the MML Library, Modern Medieval Languages and Linguistics. And there's a second L in there. I want everyone to remember, I do belong to this faculty. <laughs> we do exist. Good afternoon, <laughs> everybody. It is literally 3 p.m. Um, and I've not updated you guys, I've not done anything. Uh, okay, I've not done anything academic, but I have put a lot of washing on and stripped my bed and made some food and that's it. <laughs> but um, like, I just had a bit of a lie in this morning and then I've just been having like a catastrophic lack of bones um, all day. So I decided today's not a work day and I'm taking a day off um, for my own sanity. Um, <clears throat> I went into the library in like an hour with Andrew and do some work there, but I really want a nice coffee. So I think I might have to go and get one of those. But first, I'm gonna pot my washing away, wait for my next load of washing to finish, and, you know, just pot around, being silly. 
But we're officially like almost a year into going to Cambridge, walking around in a suit and gown. Still odd. It's still odd. It's embarrassing. Are the entire student body of the University of Cambridge not embarrassed? They should be. Um, but I'm going to Nitch Sainsbury's to get wine and then we're going to Cat's LGBT formal. Sway! And here is the pride coloured dessert, which was really nice, and it turned my tongue blue. We've come to Cat's Bar. Cat's Bar is really giving, like she's she's giving bar. Um, but Jake, formal thoughts, oh, review. Big slay. Yeah, big incredible slay. Um, I've obtained a flag. Um, feeling very gay. I just love gay stuff. And that marks the end of my week. Please enjoy this video of a squirrel I saw outside my window as a seamless outro while I say thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next week.